Hello everyone, hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end and also if you are new to this channel then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Today we have a topic with us is called Weighted Average Shares Outstanding. Now what exactly this topic is all about? What is Weighted Average Shares Outstanding? If we go and see, this is the complete detailed format here of basic and diluted shares, the EPS that is calculated. Uh, by the company. See there are two kind of EPS. One is called the basic EPS. Another is called the diluted EPS. So in both this scenario you need this thing called weighted average shares. Right. The weighted average shares is basically if you have options, right issues, the equity shares, the preference shares, the debench. So in all this scenario if debentures are convertible then that's also the part of the uh, diluted issue then in all this uh, particular scenarios you will need the section that is called as weighted average shares and we will try and analyze this uh, topic in the much more detailed format so let's begin now first and the foremost is uh, what is uh, the weighted average shares outstanding that is VASO what is uh, VAWASO see weighted average shares outstanding is the number of shares that is uh it is the number of the shares of the company that can vary you know during uh the year due to various reasons like uh buyback of shares uh there is buyback of shares new issue of shares okay and uh the share dividend the stock splits the conversion of warrants so while calculating the eps the company needs to find the weighted average number of shares outstanding so there's the calculation or the weighted average uh, shares outstanding shares in incorporates all such scenarios of the changes in the weighted average number of shares to give a, a fair earnings per share value okay now let's do the steps to calculate the weighted average shares outstanding that is VASO calculation the following are you know they're gonna be the three steps to calculate the weighted average shares outstanding the first one the first step is to find out the common shares count at the beginning of the year along with the 10 charges 10 changes that you need to make in the common shares during the year the second is you need to calculate the updated uh, common shares uh, after each change. So that includes uh, issuance of new shares that is increase the common share count. The second is the repurchase of shares second is the repurchase of the shares that reduces the common share count okay and the third is the weight you need to weight the shares outstanding by the portion of the year that is between the change and the next change so that is the weight is equal to days of outstanding divided by 365 that is equal to the months outstanding divided by 12. now let's understand the third the weighted average shares outstanding calculation so let's consider the example and you know incorporate various scenarios which can affect the weighted average number of the shares outstanding so the first is no new shares are issued so let there be a company a which has in total 100000 uh, shares outstanding at the start of the that is 
1st of January. The company did not issue any new shares. So the weighted average shares outstanding is 1 lakh into 12 divided by 12. That is closely around 1 lakh. So we multiplied the number by over here with 12 for each month and did an average over this 12 months. So since new shares were issued in the case, each month had closely around 100,000 shares outstanding and hence over the year the company had 1000 shares outstanding second the company issues the new shares once during the year or during the period so now company a issues over here let's say 12000 uh, new shares 12000 new shares on 1st of april and thus the company had 100000 uh, shares for the first 3 months that is 100 and 12,000 shares for the rest of the nine months. So, thus the weighted average shares outstanding in this case is going to be open bracket is equal to 1 lakh into 3 plus we open another bracket that is 100, 112,000 into 9. This close the bracket divide by 12 so that is 3084 and this whole divide by 12 months that gives us 25700 no there's something so 408 yeah now divide this by 12 so you get 33 okay yeah so we over here forgot to add one more zero yeah so now it comes down one zero nine triple zero so over here the weighted average shares outstanding in this case of the company has one lakh nine thousand shares outstanding at the end of the year so clearly we prorated the weighted average number of the shares according to their duration or to put it in the simple way the funds that is generated from issuing the new shares were available to the company for nine months only and hence the number was uh, prorated or prorated okay so this was the second thing now uh, the company issues new shares uh, you know to, uh, in different format you know the company can issue shares twice in a year or the company has uh, split the shares in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so it can be anything it can be any scenario and then the company has uh, done a share reverse in the ratio of 2 is to 1 so this is also possible and uh, the company has bought back some shares so in all this scenario you know different different sort of calculations uh, that will go into the portion okay so on the concluding note you know weighted average shares outstanding is an important factor while calculating the earning per share for the company during the period of time now since the number of shares of the company keeps changing due to various corporate actions like new issue of the shares buyback of the shares then we have stock split we have stock reverse split and the company for the pro proposition of the year so it makes sense to prorate the shares to find the weighted average
so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers